Today this video is going to go through the Sodic Wire power libraries on how to get the proper header for the Sodic machine. First what I did here is I created a Sodic Wire folder on my desktop and you can see that we have the Sodic DAT files and the DAT files we are going to have off the machine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select all these files and put them into the root of that folder. And once I do this, I'm going to be getting rid of my original two folders here, the 0006 and 0009. We can delete those. Now if I back up into my regular Sodic Wire folder here, we're also going to be providing you with the Sodic technology sector. Now if I go into that one, I can go ahead and open up the exe, and what that's going to do is it's automatically going to be looking for my STEC library. I'm going to go ahead and exit out, but before I do that STEC library, I first need to convert the DAT files over to the STEC. To do this, I can go ahead and do a right click on my exclamation point. It's going to be asking me for my database name and all the information to my machine. This one I'm just going to say I'm going to have a SODIC wire. Let's say my machine type is it AG400L and my controller is going to be a LN2W. Now this DAT files folder I can go ahead and browse and I'm going to go ahead and locate it to the exact location on where it's at. Now it's going to be under the SODIC wire DAT files and I can say OK. Now once I do so, it's automatically going to be populating all the DAT files in there. Once I do this, I can go ahead and say apply, and that's automatically going to be creating the STEC library. Once I say OK, it's going to let me know that it just created it, and you can see that the STEC library is now going to be located under right here. Again, it's going to take in the same information, same name, everything that I just previously put in there. So once I get that extraction done and I get my STEC library, I can then go into my SODIC wire technology selector. I'm going to go back into that EXE here. Under the EXE, now I can go ahead and locate it to the proper STEC library, which is going to be under my SODIC wire, SODIC DAT files. Once I say OK, it's automatically going to be scanning that folder and finding my SODIC wire. Now with these, I'm actually going to be physically clicking on what is my option. So once I do so, I'm actually going to be getting all my information here and I can keep on filling in the rest. Once I get this, I can go ahead and green check out and that's automatically going to be creating my SODIC header data. Then once I get that text file for my SODIC header data, I can go ahead and double click on it and that's going to open me up in a notepad and now you can see all my heading data that I would need to copy and paste to the beginning of my program. Once I do so, I can save that and I can send it out to the machine. Now, if you have any questions on this, please give us a call at our Shopware office number. The phone number there is going to be 888-222-7126 or email us at tech at shopwareinc.com. Thanks for watching.